Hi, my name is Katya. Welcome to your class today. I have a brand new seven day program for you. This is our first day. Um, as we move through the seven days, you will see some repetitions of movements, but we also will be progressing and it gradually will get a little bit harder each day. So on day six, we're gonna have a really nice challenge and work really hard. And on day seven, we finish with a lovely stretch routine. So I'm so grateful you're joining me. I hope you enjoy this and we are ready to begin. So just sit nice and comfortable. You can sit on the floor, you can sit on your cushion, on a blanket or even on a chair. We're just going to start with our hands resting on the sides of our rib cage. Try and relax your shoulders whilst holding your hands against the rib cage. And you can maybe close your eyes, sit up nice and tall. We're going to take a lovely deep breath in through the nose, inviting the breath into our hands, into the sides of the ribs, and a long soft exhale out through the mouth. Inhaling, see if you can breathe into the space, into your low ribs where your hands are resting, and exhale releasing. This is our lateral breathing, inhaling again. Beautiful expansion of the rib cage. Exhale, softening the ribs. Just feel a gentle drawing down and your abdominal starting to draw back. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling again, deeply through the nose. Long, soft exhale out through the mouth. So we'll keep going with this lovely breathing now and we'll now add some movement. So come into your hands and knees. We're going to have our knees under our hips. Your hands are slightly further forward of your shoulders. From here, inhale, start to gently rock forward, stretch your fingers out nice and long. Exhale, send your hips back to your heels. Allow the head to gently come down between your arms. Inhale, rock forwards, taking your gaze slightly forwards in front of your mat. And exhale, rocking back. So we're warming up our body slowly. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, rocking back. So this routine is really good for a morning practice or perhaps in the evening to close off your day. But of course, you can practice it at any time when it suits you. One more time, rocking forwards and rocking back. Now from here, we're making a big circle out of this movement, circling the body all the way around. Just enjoy this movement, so do not worry how this looks. Perhaps you like to close your eyes once more. Just really drawing your attention inwards on your breath, on the movement. Change direction, let's circle the opposite direction. So we're just moving the way that feels good for you in this moment. Let's do one more circle. Good. Now let's come all the way back to the center and we adjust our hands and bring them closer so that now they under the shoulders. Make sure you draw the shoulders away from your ears and your elbow creases are slightly pointing towards your thumb. So you've got that external rotation in your upper arms. Inhale, look up forwards, arch your back, lift the tail, lift the crown of the head. Exhale, round in your spine into your cat stretch. Inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, draw the abdominals in and up. Release your head down, push the floor away. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, rounding. From here, send your hips all the way back to your heels one more time. 
and take a moment in your child's pose. Stretch your arms out nice and long forwards. Release the head down between the arms. Keep your hands active, pushing the floor away from you. Again, can you direct your breath all the way down into your rib cage, even down into your lower back? And exhale. Walk your hands over to the right side diagonal. Your hands are still shoulder distance apart, head between your arms. And then press the hips a little bit over to your left side. Breathe into that left side that is being stretched and lengthened. Then we'll come all the way back to the center. Walk your hands over to your left side now. And then the hips push a little bit to the right. Breathe into the right side. Breathe. One more inhale here. Exhale. Make your way back to the center. And rock yourself forwards onto your hands and knees again. Now we'll keep the right knee under the right hip. Step your left leg out to the side. Left foot is in line with your right knee, more or less. From here, inhale, open your left arm up towards the sky. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, release your hand down. Switch side, inhale, right arm up. Notice this side is a lot more limited, so you might feel this is a lot harder to get the arm up. Lower down. One more time. Left arm goes up. Reach, reach, reach. And release it down. Right arm goes up. This time thread the needle stretch. Bring the right arm underneath the left side. Reach towards your left foot. You might be able to bring your head down to the mat. And if that's the case, you can stretch your left arm forwards. Look under your left arm. Enjoy that lovely twist. One more breath here. Exhale. Reposition your left hand in front of your face. Push yourself up and simply place your right hand under your right shoulder. From here, start to take your left leg and reach it out long behind you. So just check that you're nice and square with your trunk, your shoulders and your hips. Abdominals engaged. Inhale, lower your left toes down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left. Reaching the leg out. We're going to do three more. Please take care not to arch into your lower back. Strengthen your hamstrings and glutes. From here, take the leg out to the left. Tap. Lift your leg up and over, cross it to the right and tap. Lift up and over to the left, tap. Up and over to the right, tap. Now try and keep the body as still as possible. It's just your leg moving. Everything else is stable. Abdominals are drawing in and up. Last one. Extend the left leg right behind you. Just curling your tailbone down a little bit just to really, really make sure we're not arching. Feel that left side glute really working. From here, 10 little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax the leg down. Rest back into your child's pose. Release. If you need to move your hands to release your wrists, you can do that right now. And then we're going to come forwards and repeat everything on the second side. Rock yourself forwards. We're going to stretch the right leg out to the side in line with your left knee. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, lower your right arm down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, right, reach, 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 reach. And lower. Left 
down, just do what you can. Listen to your shoulder. Thread the needle, bring the arm all the way under. Maybe the side of your head can come down to the mat. And then you may stretch your right arm all the way forwards. Keep turning your chest, breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Bring your right hand next to your face. Push yourself up. Left hand under your left shoulder. Just organizing yourself so you're on your hands nice and evenly on your left knee. Reach your right leg all the way behind you. Draw the abdominals in. Beautiful long line from your toes to the crown of the head. Inhale, lower the toes. Exhale, lift. Engage your glutes and hamstrings when you lift your leg up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good. Three more. Next one, we hold the leg up and stabilize your body. Take your leg out to the right, tap the toes down, lift your leg up and over to the left and tap. So you're making a rainbow-like shape with your leg, going from side to side. Try and isolate the movement, it's just the leg moving. The rest of the body is as still as possible. Last one. Take your leg right behind you. Tuck your tail down a little bit. Good. From here, 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release your leg down. Sit back to your heels. Maybe you come up on your fingertips to give your wrist a nice break. Breathe in and breathe out. From here, rolling up, we'll come all the way into a high kneeling position. Please feel free to put a cushion or blanket under your knees if you need a little bit extra padding. Knees underneath your hips. Lengthening your tailbone down, feel the front of the hips lifting up, abdominals engaged, opening your arms, inhale, exhale, we're bending to the right side, your left arm is reaching up tall towards the sky, inhale, lift yourself up, exhale, switch, right fingertips reaching up, breathe in. Check your shoulders are down. Exhale, lengthening through the side of the body now. Inhale, exhale. One more each side. Inhale to come up. Exhale to side bend. Come all the way back. Relax your arms down, roll your shoulders up and back and down. Lovely, good. Now come down to sitting and then from here we're going to slowly make our way down. Let's go nice and slow so we can really feel our abdominals. You can hold on to your legs or you may reach your arms forwards. We're rolling ourselves slowly down and then release your head down. Feel free to tuck a cushion under your head to help your neck be nice and comfortable and relaxed. Step your feet in a little bit closer and then we'll come into our pelvic tilts. Feet in line with your hip joints, knees in line with your toes. Inhale, exhale. Continuing with your abdominals, drawing the tummy down, curl the tailbone, the sacrum, your lower back, your middle back off the ground. Now really squeeze your glutes and feel your hamstrings, those big muscles along the backside of your thighs working. 
Inhale, reach your arms up and back behind you. Make sure you're not starting to arch your back. Exhale, roll slowly down, vertebrae by vertebrae, as much as that is possible. Breathe in and breathe out. Float the arms forwards and down. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Abdominals first. Rolling up. We're working on the articulation of our spines. Strengthening your abdominals, your glutes, your hamstrings. Inhale. Reach your arms up and back. Exhale, peel it down. Lengthen your tailbone closer to your feet. Breathe in. And breathe out, bring the arms back down. Inhale. Exhale, roll slowly up again. Inhale, reach your arms up. Now this time we're going to stay up here and we'll have some variations. On your next inhale, let your right side hip drop a little bit down. And as you exhale, squeeze under your right sit bone, lift that right hip up again. Try the other side. Let your left hip just a little bit drop down. Exhale, squeeze the left hip back up. Right hip. It's a pretty small little movement. And then your glutes switch on again and they come and lift the hip back up. One more on the left, inhale. And exhale, lift. Stay here, nice and straight again in the center. Exhaling to roll slowly down. Keep reaching out through your fingertips, inhale. Exhale, bring the arms all the way down. Good. Another variation, very similar, but a progression of this one. Inhale, exhale, roll back up again. Inhale, float your arms up and back. Exhale, stay here. Feel strong and grounded through your feet. Now this time, as you inhale, lift your right hip. See if you can lift it a little higher. Can you feel the length from your right fingertips down to your right knee? And then level the pelvis. Lift your left hip up a little higher and level. Now note your legs don't move, the knees still pointing forward, they're not rocking side to side. Lift your right hip a little bit higher and release. Lift your left hip up a little bit higher and release. Level out the pelvis, inhale. Exhale, peel down. Slowly with control, inhaling, exhale, arms float down. Well done. Step the feet closer now and then see if you can lift your heels up. If you get any cramps, just come down and stretch out the cramp, okay? Now from here, roll the hips up. This is our final one for today. Roll the pelvis up. Squeeze your legs together. Bring your arms over the chest, palms face each other. We inhale, open the knees, open the arms. Exhale, squeeze the legs together, bring the fingertips together. Inhale, opening. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, opening. Exhale, squeeze. Now try and keep your pelvis as still as possible. It has a tendency to sway and to move around a bit. Let's try and keep it stable, nice and steady as you're moving your legs and the arms. We do three more. Feel your inner thighs working. Glutes and hamstrings are still firing. Good, well done. Let your heels come down, reach your arms back, roll all the way down. From here, open your knees, open your arms out to the side. Just relax your inner thighs. Relax. And we'll bring the knees up. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And just give yourself a nice little rock. Any movement here that feels good. Hands around the back of your thighs. Stretch your legs up and we'll point and flex our feet, point 
and flex and point and flex and then keeping the toes gently pointed you can have your legs slightly bent or straight tuck your hands palms facing down underneath your bottom so the fingertips point out forwards from here we're going to do a small corkscrew movement circling your legs around focusing on the lower abdominals we'll go four circles one way and then four circles the other way really feeling the lower abdominals drawing in and then when you've done your four change direction keep inhaling exhaling good then bending your knees extend one leg all the way down extend the other leg down take your hands out from underneath you reach your arms back behind you inhale exhale arms up to the sky lift the head you can always push yourself up on the floor or roll yourself up let's take a stretch forwards over our legs hold on anywhere on your legs the back of the knees the calves the ankles maybe your feet stretch it out here breathe relax your face your eyes your jaw inhale sit up nice and tall reach your arms out in front of you exhale rolling slowly back down again we're going to open our arms out into a t-shape bending your knees once more this time your feet are near the edges of your mat breathe in breathe out take both knees over to the right side now we're lengthening the front of your left hip you again you can a little bit squeeze those glutes to activate to create more reach and length in the front of the hip inhale bring your knees up exhale rock your knees over to the other side breathe in breathe out knees up and knees over to the right good stay on this side please inhale exhale place your left foot on top of your right leg and then allow your whole body to roll onto the right side make sure your back is nice and straight you can adjust and bring the knees a little bit higher and your feet forwards so here's quite good if you had a cushion so that your head is not dropping like mine right now so from here we're going to inhale reach the top hand forwards as you exhale bend the elbow so if you're drawing a bone arrow open that left arm stretch it out behind you turning your chest to point to the sky inhale exhale closing a nice long arm inhale reaching forwards exhale bending the elbow beautiful chest stretch mobilizing our thoracic spine let's make sure the hip and the knee stay forwards and closing the arm inhale reach exhale bend extend the arm out behind you into a t-shape and closing the arm here's the last one inhale exhale this time we'll stay with the arm breathe in breathe out your left foot is finding the mat again slide it down behind you and then roll yourself back onto your back good second side inhale exhale rock your knees over to your left side you will just take a nice breath in here enjoy exhale and then let the right leg slide all the way on top of your left leg let the right arm come around so you end up lying on your left side make sure your back is nice and straight knees 90 degree in front of you inhale exhale right elbow bending open it out behind you palm faces up breathe in 
and breathe out, closing the arm. Inhale, reach forwards first. Exhale, bending the elbow, turning your chest. Good. Try and feel your right shoulder blade drawing down the back of your rib cage. So you've got space between your ear and your shoulder, closing your arm. We have two more on this side. Breath in, stretch, exhale to close. Last one. Bending the elbow, opening the chest. Beautiful rotation, loosening up. We'll stay. Let the right foot find the mat again and roll yourself back onto your back. Just take a moment here, close your eyes. Inhale. And exhale. Then continue to roll over to the side and make your way all the way up to sitting. Any comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall. Take a nice big stretch with your arms up to the sky. Exhale, draw your palms down. Thank you so much for joining me for day one. I look forward to seeing you for day two tomorrow. Thank you so much.